The Bamboo Lab Cool Plate is one of my very favorite plates to use on the Bamboo Lab machines. And with this tool right here, it makes it super easy to replace. My name's Jim, and this is The Edge of Tech. Now don't get me wrong, I use the textured PEI plates a lot, and I really like them too. They work very good. But I think my very favorite Bamboo Lab surface is the cool plate. It's better on energy because it really doesn't require the bed to heat up. Prints come out nice and smooth, as you can see on the back of here. And things just stick to this cool plate like it's literally glued on. And the best thing about them is when they wear out, you can replace the sticker. That's right, it's actually just a sticker in mere minutes and have a brand new plate ready to go. Enter the Bamboo Lab Cool Plate Replacement Tool. Well, that's what I call it anyway. This actually comes loaded on almost all of the Bamboo Lab printers. And if you can't find it, just jump into Maker World and you can find it there. This is a multi-purpose tool that allows you to take this plate right here and put a brand new sticker on it like this in mere minutes. Let me show you how it works. First, you take your old plate, find a corner and peel that old sticker off. And it's actually generally pretty easy to peel off. Now grab yourself some isopropyl alcohol and give that plate a really good wipe down to clean off any of the residual residue from the glue that was already on the plate. This is a great time to jump in and tell you about today's sponsor, PCBWay. If you're looking for a custom PCB, maybe some CNC work, or even some specialized 3D printing services, check out PCBWay to help finish your project today. They offer a ton of different services, their website is super simple to use, and their customer service is always standing by to help with any questions you have. Follow the link in the description below to check out PCBWay today, and watch the channel to check out some metal 3D printed parts that we're working with PCBWay to get right now. I can't wait for that project, so, so stay tuned. But if they're anything like I saw on Angus's video when he got some metal parts from PCBWay, I can't wait to see these things in person. Thank you so much PCBWay for sponsoring this video. Now back to it. Now take your plate and make sure you have the back of the plate. In my case, it says Bamboo Lab Engineering Plate on one side and it's empty or there's no writing on this side. Uh, there might be writing on yours, I'm not sure. Just take the side you want to put the sticker on and then we want to set it down nicely into the grooves and get it aligned in that tool. Now take your new sticker, turn it around and peel that backing back about one inch down from the top. Once you get it down, crease it so it doesn't flip back up. Then take that sticker and put it down onto the build plate following the guides in the top corner so everything is straight. Once you have your new sticker aligned and pressed down onto the plate, then you can actually remove the plate and the sticker off the tool and set the plate on a flat surface. So this is where it starts getting pretty cool with the tool here. What you wanna do is lift your sticker up and grab that paper in the back and peel off maybe like one or two inches. Then take the tool in your other hand and start pressing down and using it like, like a squeegee or a press to stick the sticker down nice and tight. Then you wanna take your tool here, press down on the plate and flatten out that one or two inches that you pulled so it's nice and stuck down and everything's nice and tight against here. Now that you've got the hang of it, what you wanna do is to take your tool and just start peeling that paper back on the sticker and pressing against the plate with your tool. It reaches all the way across the plate, so it'll just press that sticker down, and you just wanna keep going until that whole sticker is now stuck down to the plate. Once that's done, you wanna take the plastic that comes on the new sticker and peel that off. Unfortunately, I missed hitting record when I did that, so there's no plastic here, but trust me, a lot of the new stickers come with plastic and you wanna peel that plastic off before you print on it. Then just clean it up with some isopropyl alcohol and get it nice and clean. Just remember what I said earlier about these plates. They stick very, very well. A matter of fact, Bamboo Lab suggests using the uh, glue stick that comes with the printer to make sure that your prints will remove okay and that you don't damage the sticker. You can either use that or their liquid glue, or I use uh, the, the Nano Palmer by Vision Miner. Whatever you wanna use, but make sure you put it on here. That way your prints do come off the bed. <laughs> they really do have a tendency to stick too much, which is not a terrible thing when you're printing something that needs to stick down, but you want to be able to remove them from the plate. Now, I absolutely love that Bamboo Lab comes up with things like the scraper and like this multi-purpose cool plate replacement tool. That's what I wanna call it. Uh, I think it's awesome that they think of these things ahead of time and they get it to us for free. 
Uh, you don't have to pay for this tool, you just print it off. I guess you have to pay for the filament, but you know what I mean. You don't have to pay for the model. And it's awesome that they do things like this. Again, the scraper is another great example of a useful tool that they provide us. Now you can get the brand new stickers from Bamboo Lab for I believe $8.99 right now. And there'll be a link in the description below to grab yours. But these are so cheap. It is probably the cheapest way to replace a bed or a build sheet that I know of. Uh, you know, for $8.99, you peel a sticker, you put a brand new one on, and you're ready to go. Let me know in the comments below what your favorite build surface is for the Bamboo Lab machines. Is it Texture PEI? Is it the cool plate? What do you use? And as always, don't forget to check out this video right here.